GTN Radio. Hear the difference. Now the news. I'm Zhou Fang. Shanghai has announced that it will conduct citywide COVID-19 antigen testing on Sunday and nucleic acid testing on Monday. The city is experiencing its worst COVID-19 outbreak in two years. It reported over 400 confirmed cases and close to 7,800 asymptomatic cases on Saturday. Chinese Vice Premier Sun Chunlan is calling for resolute and swift moves to stamp the spread of COVID-19 in Shanghai in the shortest time possible. She issued the call during an inspection visit to the city. The Vice Premier stressed unswerving adherence to the dynamic zero COVID-19 approach, urging greater efforts to ensure that all those in need are tested, isolated, hospitalized or treated. The Deputy Speaker of Pakistan's National Assembly has rejected a no-confidence motion against Prime Minister Imran Khan, saying that foreign involvement was found in the filing of the motion. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister says he has asked the Pakistani President to dissolve the parliament for new elections. Ukraine says it has regained control of the whole Kyiv region. It also says the Russian military continues to carry out systematic missile and aviation strikes on targets in Ukraine, but the intensity has decreased. Additional units of the Russian military are preparing to participate in combat in Ukraine. The Ukrainian presidential website reports that the country spends about 10 billion U.S. dollars per month on the conflict with Russia, citing data from the Ministry of Finance. It named Kiev's own tax revenues and assistance from international partners among sources of expenditure financing. Russia says peace talks have not progressed enough for a meeting between the leaders of Russia and Ukraine. Chief negotiator Vladimir Mendensky also says Moscow's position on the status of Crimea and Donbas remains unchanged. French President Emmanuel Macron has promised policies such as raising the minimum pension and offering tax-free bonuses during his first big rally as his sixth re-election. Post suggests that Macron is holding a comfortable lead so far over other candidates. Voters in Serbia are casting their ballots in the presidential, general and municipal elections. Incumbent President Aleksandr Vucic is running for a second term. The start of Ramadan is usually marked with excitement, but in Lebanon, an economic crisis means there will be much muted celebrations for many people. Priyanka Navani has more. Eddie and Tima are trying their best to have the food on the table for the Lebanese during Ramadan. But due to the country's economic crisis, keeping up with demand will be no easy feat. I know that a lot of people has in, uh, have in their fridge only a pot of labne and bread. Each night through the month, their collaboration will supply more than 450 people with iftar, or the evening breaking of the fast meal. The local currency has crumbled against the dollar, causing prices of goods to soar. Salaries largely have not increased, presenting residents with an impossible situation. In Ramadan's past, areas were ornately decorated with bright lights and street vendors selling a variety of Ramadan goods. The citizens we spoke to say despite the fact that this is a Ramadan like no other, they're doing their best to help their neighbor and embody the true spirit of the month. A team from the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board is in China to assist investigating the crash of a China Eastern Airlines flight. According to a publication under the Civil Aviation Administration of China, the U.S. team consists of seven authorized representatives and technical advisors. They will provide technical support in investigating the cause of the accident from the perspective of the designer and the manufacturer of the plane. Iga Swiatek is set to replace the now-retired Ashley Barty at number one in the women's rankings after the Polish player defeated Naomi Osaka in straight sets to win the Miami Open. It's really exciting, you know. Uh, I'm being compared to, like, the players who were really more idols when I was younger, and um, I, I wouldn't even dream of being in that position, so I feel really satisfied and proud of myself. It was the sixth consecutive win in the final for the Polish player, who started the streak at the delayed French Open in 2020. And that's the news. I'm Zhou Fang.
don't know what you're messing with. Why in the hell don't you leave it alone? Who is she? They look just like you and I, but inside, inside they're, they're different. They have no soul. Who are you? They call me the garbage man. I dispose of human garbage. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're in danger. It's been a little accident. An escape. They're very real. Very dangerous, Jeff. Be careful. Be careful.